Hi there, friends. Another fantastic show today. What are my favorite stuffing? Chorizo sausage, cornbread stuffing. Amazing. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you exactly how to make this. Don't forget. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And don't forget to ring the bell. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to make this amazing stuffing. All right, friends. You know, I make a lot of different stuffing, but I always go back to one of my favorite. It's a, a chorizo sausage. And today I'm going to put some uh, cornbread. I'm going to put some uh, 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 chestnuts. Uh, I'm going to put a bunch of stuff. <laughs> I'm going to saute the chorizo sausage first, and then I'm going to saute the vegetables, and I'm going to put it all together. So the first thing I'm going to do, and then I'll talk about the mise en place in a minute. You know, look, this is... Uh, Making a stuffing, friends, is something that's going to take a little time. Eh? It's not like one of them quick uh, five-minute video there. I don't know how they're going to do it on TikTok. <laughs> that's for sure. All right? I don't know how they're going to do that. So I take the sausage, folks. And, uh, and if you've seen last year my traditional stuffing, it's very similar to it, you know? If you don't want to put uh, um, chorizo sausage, you can put... Any sausage, a spicy Italian sausage would be great. You don't want to use sausage? You can use a chicken sausage. You can use a, a turkey sausage. And, uh, yeah, I, or if you don't want to eat sausage at all, just don't put it in there, you know? It's okay. It's still going to be good, right? The important thing, folks, to do is to saute the sausage and really, really taking the time. And you see what I do. I took it out of the casing to save a few, a few minutes, right? And then I take a spatula and I break it up. This is to create the Maillard reaction. Get some caramelization in there. And that's going to give us some great deal of flavor, my friend. A lot of flavor there, I'm going to tell you. So I'm going to do this over there. And right there, I'm going to do my vegetables so I can talk about the mise en place. Let me make sure this is nice and high. All right. Um, I don't need to put any salt and pepper in there, my friends, because uh, the, the sausage is very spicy already, especially the... It's a little spicy, the chorizo sausage is delicious. We're going to let it cook. We're going to get that Maya reaction, nice caramelization, okay? So, I can relax a little bit down at this cooking. I can now do, <laughs> I can tell you about my mise en place. By the way, for those of you that are going to make the stuffing, my friends, if you're going to make it a week of Thanksgiving, you got to make this or a week before, and you can freeze it for three, four, five days. Don't worry, nothing's going to happen to it. Or you can make it two or three days before, leave it in the fridge. Don't wait the day before Thanksgiving. The day of Thanksgiving, all you got to worry about is cook the turkey. Yeah? Everything else should be ready. You're cooking the turkey, you smoke a cigar, relax. You don't smoke a cigar? Oh, well, don't worry about it. All right. So, um, I, you know, I forget what I'm talking about. I was sort of thought I was outside smoking a cigar. So now, we're going to saute the vegetables. Mise en place. Onion. Celery. Carrots. Ham. You don't eat ham? Don't put it in. Fresh thyme. Fresh rosemary. Fresh sage. Garlic. Sauteed spinach. If you don't have all of those, don't worry. Skip one. Skip two. Do whatever you want. This is not like, oh, mama me, I don't have a, the, the, I don't have the rosemary. I'm not going to be able to make it. So always relax, friends. You know? I always say that, and I know you heard it from me before, we're not sending a man on the moon, okay? We're just making a little stuffing, okay? If people don't like your stuffing for Thanksgiving, they can go eat down the street, okay? <laughs> don't worry. They're going to like it. Let's make sure we saute the onion first. Oh, mamma mia. Let's go. Onion first. Always, always, always the onion first. Okay? Remember that. That's another thing. I know you you know because you've been watching my channel. Whenever you see somebody putting somebody putting all the ingredients at the same time, you know what to do, right? Go tic tac tock. <laughs> now really, this is all very important, my friends. We must saute this. We must caramelize the onion. Now, could you do everything at home in the same pan? Of course you could. Here's what you do. If I did this. If I did it all in one pan, that video would be 45 minutes. <laughs> I know some of you wouldn't mind because you're really cool. But some people were like, oh, mama mia, I'm never going to do this thing. It takes too long. So uh, if you could do, you do your sausage, get a beautiful caramelized. 
that beautiful Maya reaction. You see in a minute what I'm talking about, right? You do this, then you empty it, and then you can use the fat and the sausage that's giving you, you can saute the onion. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay? Look, 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 look. Look, look what I'm talking about right there, friends. You see? You see right there? That's what I'm talking about right there. That caramelization right there. This is what I'm talking about. You got to take the time to do this. You see so many people, they use sausage and think they don't take the time to do that. They give you like boiled sausage. Boiled sausage. Can you imagine? That should be illegal. <laughs> boiled sausage. It's like the onion. They don't take the time to caramelize the onion. I mean, what, what's the matter with them people? They don't, don't they test this? Because I tell you what, you tested this one time, you'll never not do it. You'll never not do it. I promise you'll never not do it. That's all there is to it. You don't want to make my bolognese sauce. Okay, bolognese is supposed to make it with the ground beef, right? I like to make it with a sausage. Oh, the Italian. Oh, mama me. The Italian and my family renown me because I use sausage. Good spicy Italian sausage in the bolognese. You, you, you should try. But you see the process? This is what I got to do. Okay, I don't, I don't care what it is you're making. You got to do this, friends. That's the flavor. Okay, look at the onion. See, that look good, right? You see what I'm talking about right there, friends? Look, 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 look. You see what I'm talking about? Really, really simple, right? Okay, now we'll put the celery. Now we can do that. We can't put them at the same time because if we do put at the same time all that water, it's going to make it impossible for us to caramelize our, our onion. If we don't caramelize them, what is it? What no, they don't taste good, right? Little ham, you don't like ham, skip the ham. Don't worry. Nobody's going to complain if you don't like ham, right? We're going to put a little bit of oil because I don't want to put too much. Fresh thyme, rosemary. Normally, I like to put only one or two, but for Thanksgiving, I like to overdo it. <laughs> a little bit of sage. Oh, sage. You got to put sage during the holiday, friends. Eh? Sage is part of the deal. Sage is part of the deal, okay? We could cook those for a minute. All right, we cook them for a minute. We're going to cook the sausage. All right? Look, look, you see? See what I'm talking about, friends? Now, you want to make sure you, you break it up, you see? I like those spatula. They're really cool. Because they, they, I use them as a tool, you see? And then you know what we're going to do, friends? We're going to take the spinach. We're going to cook it right in there. So you can really see, yes, you could do this in one pot. I know you can do this in one pot. You see? Take it out of there. I want a little more caramelization. And then I'm going to put the spinach. In the meantime, let me saute this. I'm going to put a cover on there, friends. Here we go. I'm going to put a cover. They're going to cook faster. And then right there, I'm going to cook my spinach. You see, I'm just going to cook them a little bit. Cook them with the pork. Like I say, you don't want the pork, don't worry about it. Don't put it in. You notice I didn't put any salt and pepper, right? Sausage are good enough. The sausage are good enough right there. Oh, you can make a breakfast right there. Let's crack some eggs in there. Oh, oh let's make some home fries. Oh, yeah, we'll have a delicious breakfast, my friends. <laughs> I love my life. You know, Thanksgiving in America is one of my favorite holidays. This country is amazing to me. It's always been fantastic. I love this country. It has given me so much. And uh, yeah, everything I have, everything I own, everything I am, this country gave it to me. So I have a debt to pay to America, and I'm doing it. By teaching everybody how to cook, it's such a pleasure. So I'm glad you guys are enjoying the Thanksgiving holidays. It's really special. I know in different parts of the world they don't celebrate it, but I know you're celebrating with us. So, look, guys, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna check out those vegetables. I want them cooked. So we're gonna give them a minute. So here's what we're gonna do, friends. When this is continue cooking, actually, you know what? The sausage is perfect, my friend. I'm gonna lower it down. I'm going to now start to make my, um, the rest of the stuffing. So, as I was telling you, I have the uh, uh, corn, uh, uh, corn bread. You can use corn muffin. You can use corn bread. You can use regular bread. You can use brioche bread. Use whatever bread you want, okay? I put it right in there like that, and I just crumble it up, right? We're going to put some fresh parsley, chopped parsley. 
And then we're going to put the raisins. You know, I got the raisins marinated in rum. Look how big they are. They've been marinated in rum for a few months. <laughs> oh, yeah, C Captain Morgan spice rum. You put them in there like this, Captain Morgan. Those are great for the kids in the morning. For <laughs> you give them for the kids in the morning for cereal. Oh, yeah. Oh, daddy, I guess most of more of this. So the, the raisins, you don't want to put the raisins, don't worry about it. You don't want to marinate them in rum because you can't have rum. Then uh, marinate them in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in juice, like apple juice or something. I got Granny Smith apple. You know, I keep them in, uh, in, uh, in uh, uh, salted water. Salted water. Uh, lemon water. Sometimes I wonder about me. Right? And uh, I'm going to take the water out of there, friends. It's acidulated water. Whatever they don't lemon. Otherwise, they, they turn brown, right? Put the apples in. And those are Granny Smith apple. So they're not overly sweet. Let me check out the vegetables, eh? Just to make sure they're good, friends. Ha ha. Oh, this hot. Be careful. <laughs> I'm telling you to be careful, right? I'm the one that's cooking, and I'm telling you to be careful, friends. All right, let me go back. Let me go back. Let me go back. All right. So uh, I got that. Oh, I got chestnuts. This is my tradition. If you don't have chestnuts, don't worry about it. Don't put them in. Chestnuts. Those are fabulous. Those are fabulous, my friend. Chestnuts. They're roasted French chestnuts. You don't have them. Don't worry about it. Don't put them in there. They're cool. But don't be out there putting another nut, no? <laughs> I don't want you to put like a walnut or something because they're hard nuts. You want a soft nut. No, no, soft nut. I'm telling you, like a chestnut. Have huh? you ever had them? More <laughs> delicious. Okay. All right, chestnuts. Um, what else do I got in here? I got the raisins. I got, the, I got everything. Okay, good. All right, now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a sausage right there. I think I got a little too much sausage. I'm not going to put it all. I'm going to save this for my breakfast. Right, when I write the recipe, friends, I will give you the exact recipe, so don't worry. I'll give you the exact recipe. Okay. But make a little bit more. Make an extra. Don't worry. It's going to be delicious. Let's check those vegetables. Remember. Oh, ha, ha, ha. We're going to take them. And we're going to make sure they're cooked, Frank. I don't want them cook, cook, cook. I don't. I, I, I want them soft. 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 So they're okay. Ha, ha, ha. No. Ha, ha. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. See? They still have a little crunch to it, but not a lot. We're not going to put them in there. Oh, yeah, baby. Check it out. Oh, that just burned me. Uh, if you can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen, my mom used to say. All right, here we go, friends. Look at this. Okay, so now. Oh, yeah. It's looking good, my friends. You probably can't see because of the steam. What do you think? You can see now a little bit? All right, look, look, look. Look at this, friends. A little more parsley in here. Make a little more parsley. Let me get a little more parsley. All right. Now, now, my friends, what I have to do is I have to put a little bit of moisture, okay? Um, a lot of people put the egg in here, but I put over the egg in my cornbread, so I don't need it. I don't need to put the egg in here. I just want to make sure it's well mixed. But I want it to hold together. See, I want it to hold, to hold together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bit of buttermilk in there. That's very, very close to my uh, traditional recipe. I'm going to put just a little bit of buttermilk. Okay, you don't want to put buttermilk in there? Then put, um, put uh, a little bit of half and half. It'll be good, right? Put a bit of half and half. It'll work. Just a little bit of milk if you want. You got to put a little moisture in there, okay? Some people add uh, uh, chicken stock. I just think the buttermilk gives it a bit of, a better flavor. But, you know, put whatever makes you happy in there, right? Just a little bit right there. Boom, boom, boom. Right there. That's it. And then what we're going to do, my friends, I want it to hold together. See, look, look, that's what I mean by that. Hold together. See the way it's holding together? See right there, friends? It's holding together, right? It's like, a, it's like a, maybe just a little bit boom by the way. It's almost a cup. It's a, you know, I put the whole cup. There you go. I measured a cup, and I was afraid it was going to be too much. And, uh, and no, it's not too much. Now, it's up to you, though. Some people like it a dry stuffing. If you like a dry stuffing, then you'll go right ahead. I'm going to put a little bit of salt and pepper at the last minute. Right? And this, my friends, is going to be a stuffing. I promise you, you make this stuffing, 
You won't be using no stuff stop topping or whatever they call that thing. You could get in a box where you add. Well, I don't know what you add to it. But uh, I'm telling you, folks, you make this right there. And I'm telling you, this is going to be delicious. So you know what I do now? I take it. I put it in the lasagna pan. Then I put a little bit of butter in there, like a lot of butter. Yeah, I put a lot of butter. Right? Now I'm going to take it. I'm going to put it in my lasagna pan. You see? I'm going to put it in a lasagna pan. Now, you got to pick a lasagna pan, friends. Then, now this you can do. Oh, it smells amazing. If you could be here and smell it, you wouldn't believe it. You got to pick a lasagna pan, my friends. I'm going to tell you a little something, okay? A little secret. Actually, I don't have any secret. When it comes to cooking, I don't have no secret. I always find it interesting when people have a, oh, no, this is a family secret. I can't tell you the recipe. Really? Don't give me the recipe? I told you the story about that woman, right? She made this beautiful chocolate chip cookie. She brought them to me one day at the school. And she says, oh, look at that. I said, wow, those are very good cookies. You got to give me the recipe. Oh, no, 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 no. I can't do that. This is a family recipe. Oh, I said, okay, oh, so only you family, eh? Can enjoy my family, no good enough. <laughs> a recipe is to share, my friend. Look, so what I was going to tell you before I lose my train of thought, you got to put them in a lasagna pan that is big enough, friends. Big enough so you have at least an inch and a half, two inches of thickness. Don't go out there and have a, use a, a, a lasagna pan that's so big, then you have a very thin layer. You know what happened? It'll dry it out. Take some fresh parsley right here, friends. And you are done. Right there. That's all you need. Right there, my friends. You take it? Okay, so now, let's say Thanksgiving is, is today, so you got to put it in the oven for an hour, an hour and a half, and you got your beautiful stuffing. But what I recommend you do, you make it ahead, and you can keep it in the fridge three, four days, or you can freeze it for a week or two. It doesn't matter. And, uh, and then you have it. You're down. You're ready to go. Okay, we don't stuff the turkey with this, okay? We don't stuff turkey with stuffing. We stuff the turkey with fruits and all that. So watch my turkey video. In the meantime, my friends, I hope you enjoyed it. Go, I'll print the recipe for you. You go print the recipe. <laughs> I'll put it out there for you. Remember, be, below the video, there's a, a link that says show more. Click on it. You'll be able to download the free recipe. Go ahead and make it. It's fantastic. Thank you for watching. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to ring the bell. We'll see you next week with another fantastic recipe. Guess what, friends? You're right, I forgot something. I forgot the garlic. Don't forget the garlic, okay? Hey, I just want to let you know, to remind you, I'm not begging this. The reason why I'm not begging it is because I am going to use it in the, uh, uh, I'm going to stuff a turkey breast in the next couple of days. It's going to be released. So if you want to see how that's done, we're going to, uh, open the turkey breast, we're going to pound it, and we're going to stuff it with this, and we're going to wrap it all up. So uh, if you want to watch how I use that, otherwise, for your own good, you can just put it in the oven and eat it, but only cook it when you're ready to eat it. So make it in advance, keep it in the fridge, and you cook it only an hour, an hour and a half before you're ready to eat, so it stays nice and fresh, all right? So that's it. We'll see you right on the other side with some other fantastic videos.